Welcome to Georgian Bay, Ontario. Just arrived here at the, at the harbor at the boat launch. We have a full trunk load of stuff to pack in the boat. We got to launch the boat and then we have an unknown amount of time to find an island camp spot somewhere in the middle of Georgian Bay, AKA Lake Huron. <laughs> Wait. We just have to find the trailer parking, which I don't know exactly where it is. But we gotta put her between a blue Jeep and a white BMW. This is gonna be tight. Oh, oh man. Right, let's go. I'm sure if that BMW owner was was there watching that back end job, he would have had a freaking heart attack. But we got her done. Okay. Made three wrong turns. Oh. Okay, we're moving. How's the hair? Hair's good. Thanks. You too. A lot of focus is going to be required here. Georgia Bay is. Uh, this huge bay just off of uh, Lake Huron. It's something like 90% or 95% of all of the islands and all of the Great Lakes are in Georgia Bay. We're not familiar with these waters, so it's it's really dangerous for boating with with, with islands, are going with rocks. Yeah, so people, fast. these people might know the waters a bit yeah, more than we do. Yeah, we have no idea. We're gonna take it slow. Yeah, we're gonna be following uh, a GPS and just hope that it's decently well marked and hopefully don't hit <laughs> that's the goal. Really tell that's the ball. Seeing some rocks here. One up there. Well, as long as we don't hit that one, we're okay. Like you can see them down there. It's deep. This here, this is still fine. Like this is deep. Okay. Yeah. We could park the boat here and come out. Okay. Here. Okay. We'll check it out. It's super calm. This is really good. I think we found home. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Even like that rock there looks kind of neat. Out there? Yeah. Those rocks are cool. Hopefully, no rattlesnakes hiding in there. Get shallow. It's really rocky, it's the only problem. Yeah. Watch out, it's gonna probably be really slippery. I know it will be. I got these bad boys in sport mode though. Okay, Crocs. Yeah, it's a really nice spot here. Whoa. It's aluminum, which is it's fine, but I don't love pulling up on rocks like this. Oh, Boy. shit. Do any snakes? Don't even joke. We're 100%, this is like the best spot for a snake to hang out all the sun, some woods to go hunting. Woo. Strong independent woman. So we kind of got tucked in behind this island. We have a huge windbreak, which is pretty, pretty important considering there's probably gusting 20, 25 kilometers an hour. We'll go exploring, yeah, let's see go. if there's somewhere, a good spot to sleep. Yeah, we gotta find a good spot for the yeah. tent. Let's go check it out. So we're walking very carefully, not just because of the rocks, but because uh, this area of Georgian Bay is home to Ontario's only venomous snake, the Massasauga rattler. I don't, I don't expect to see one. Um, 
I think it'd actually be pretty cool to see one, or at least hear one. What? I heard a snake. You don't think, you don't think it was a snake? Yeah. It's probably like a chipmunk. No, I heard. Joel's is, you, we call it baronoid. She's snake, snakeeroid. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're pretty rare, but we're definitely in the right area. Also, that's a big reason why we didn't bring Chester on this adventure. If he got bit by one of those things, it would be such a nightmare. All the vets around uh, this area are closed on the weekends. Yeah, I'm taking you back while we just like Oh my, in. jump. <laughs> so not. Yeah, just keep going. What are you screaming about? Yeah, it's like prime snake. Oh my oh. God. But yeah, the snakes is basically why we didn't bring Chester because we don't want him to. To die. Probably shouldn't have brought me either. Want to give me a little bump so I get up higher? Oh. And luckily, your partner is a fearless masculine <laughs> snake master fighter. Okay, this is the spot right here. We're gonna tuck our tent in. It's this big circular platform. Actually, it's a brand new tent to show you guys, but this spot will do just fine. It is ridiculous how afraid you are of <laughs> snakes. They're rattlesnakes. I don't care about snake snakes. Like, look, like, look at what he's making me walk through. Just show them, Adam. Show them. exactly what we're walking through here. Look at that tall grass. It's like, well, I'll go first. Then you ditch me and then I'm gonna get eaten. No, just walk behind me. I'm snake bait. Come on. They like the rocks where we're sleeping. Got it. Oh my god, that one hurt. <laughs> nice catch. Since we're on a giant rock and we're going to be setting our tent up on this rock, we need some way to anchor the tent because obviously we can't put our pegs into solid rock. So we're looking around and we're, we're collecting the biggest rocks that we can see and we're going to use these to anchor, hopefully, or try to anchor, <laughs> anchor our tent and prevent it from becoming a giant kite. Push them in. Voila. Yeah. There you go. This is the Space Acacia XL. It's a three in one system, so you have your floor, your tent, and your canopy. Because of our incredible weather and blue skies, we're not going to use the canopy, but I'll insert a picture here so you can see what it looks like with the canopy. 
The tent is made of ultra durable Oxford 300D cloth and offers PU water rating, which means it can withstand water up to 200 millimeters. It also comes with a rain fly and rain cape. The canopy offers a nice cooling shade with SPF 50 plus protection during cold nights and winters. You can also close it out and it will serve as an extra insulation layer. So this is the base or the floor of the tent. The floor is six inches thick and it's made of the same material as an inflatable kayak or a stand-up paddleboard. Should also mention that this is not an air mattress. It's much more durable and more comfortable. <laughs> so obviously the space acacia is not meant for you know your backpacking trip or your hiking trip, but it's more tuned for someone who does drive-up camping or boat to camping, someone who's trying to set up a base camp like we were doing today. If you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link to Acacia's website in the description below. Big thanks to Acacia for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Nice and breezy in here. You got a bug. Wait, wait. wait. How big? It's a mayfly. Oh. Be free. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Yep, this is mm. spectacular. The wildlife on this island is just incredible. Between the bald eagle we saw right away, the thousands and thousands of tadpoles and all of, all of these little puddles, I think we just might have seen one or two minks coming out of a den. I'm gonna try to position my camera with a tripod and see if we can maybe get a little bit of footage of them. I'm not the best swimmer and this looks pretty far maybe a little bit too far for my comfort zone so I've asked Adam if he'd go diapering with me <laughs> for those who don't know diapering I will demonstrate <laughs> it involves oh this wait it involves putting on a life jacket like a diaper <laughs> here Adam come show your diaper <laughs> That surpassed any expectations I had. I think we are gonna do a beverage run and uh, maybe go back out there diaper in a little bit longer. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Top 10 favorite beers of my life right now. This is a good one.
They're infiltrating our site. Oh, what's he doing with his head? And you're afraid of rattlesnakes. This is the real. <laughs> you're leaving me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I think she's more scared of the goose than she is of the rattlesnakes now. There we go. So for the first time in months, we're actually able to have an open fire. There's been a fire ban, I think probably since the end of May, maybe early June, and it's since been lifted. So we're very excited to finally be camping and uh, have the first campfire of the summer. It's, it's kind of a classic. We're doing more of like a traditional camping meal. We have chili cheese dogs on the menu. I couldn't be more excited for anything we've ever eaten in my entire life. I'm really excited. I first had a chili hot dog, what do you call it? Chili, chili cheese, cheese dog. dog. In Newfoundland, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was, that was a, an incredible sight. Yeah. Great trip. Kind of like this. Yeah. Two? They're big dogs though. Big dogs. Are you gonna have cheese on yours? No, I don't have to. No, no, no. no. You have to have cheese on. It, yes, it's a chili dog. cheese dog. You're right. That one's done for sure. Oh boy, oh boy. Lizzie down. <laughs> I dropped some cheese and some hot dogs. That is a party foul if I've ever seen one. You only wanted three hot dogs anyway. I, I just got rid of one for you so you wouldn't be super sick. <laughs> Should've got bigger buns. Your chili cheese dogs. <laughs> Watch out. No, those look beautiful. Always close. Always. But when you're approaching, you're doing way too much chili. You gotta go head on. What? What are you doing? Tilting your hot dog like this. You gotta go head on like this. You're tilting your dog too much. I have so much chili in my gear. We had no idea that there was actual cruise ships on Georgian Bay. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's pretty serious. Backhand. Oh, oh that's a Oh, you hold your tea bag. Yeah, I live and learn.
getting settled in in the tent for the night. Still a heavy breeze coming off the off the bay, which is actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just wrapping up a really, really good day. Like the best possible day we could have had. Good sight, no props hit, <laughs> and great weather. No rattlesnakes. They're still tomorrow though. They're still tomorrow, and we will see you guys then. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> Morning from our Rocky Island. So last night, at, I don't know, maybe midnight or 1 or 2 a.m., woke up because the wind had picked up so much and, and the waves were crashing. And I got super paranoid that the boat was going to float away or, or my knot was going to come undone. I had a really hard time falling back to sleep, so I had to uh, go check on it, but... She's still safe back here. I think luckily, even though it got really rough up on the west side of the island, back here in this cove stays relatively calm. Is that the chosen one? If you guys have watched this far in the video, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So we would really appreciate if you if you would. And also when you're at it, if you could just hit that thumbs up button, that really, uh, really helps the channel out. Ooh. I love the colors of kiwi, they're so pretty. Liquidy? A little liquidy. Not the end of the world. Dog? Is it Chester? Okay, one more rock obstacle course. These ones are the slippery ones too. That was a cool campsite for sure. Well, we had to stop for fish and chips at the marina since I was unable to catch it for us. And uh, well, now we're on the road. Great trip. No rattlesnakes. No rattlesnakes. Huge plus for me. Um, 
yeah, I mean, there, there's so much crown land and, and different sites for us to explore there. It's kind of just a tip of the iceberg. Um, and yeah, we're definitely gonna have to plan to come back to uh, to this area uh, at least one more time this summer. But oh, for sure. we're running out of days. This is the only problem. Got much to add to that or what? Nope. Well, thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.